musician or the internet whose days are hard and long But nobody seems to stream or download any of his songs With his wits and intuition he's gonna find out why And how to get the world to notice on the platform Spotify He's a Spotify guy doing all he can To figure out the secrets of the stream So, as per Damien X's instructions, last week we looked at making a steady flow of content, and now this week it's time to start looking at how to connect with fans. According to Spotify for Artists, which is Spotify's self-help service for aspiring streaming musicians, creating playlists and being added to playlists is a great way to connect with your fans find new ones. Playlists can give your fans an inside look at the music you love and the songs that inspire you. Artists like Diplo have built huge playlist followings which they use to promote their own music, share the songs they're playing on tour and champion new artists they discover. It sounds like creating some playlists of my own would be a good way to start my Spotify guide journey. They show three examples of popular playlists on Spotify, each one quite different. The first one is Diplo and Friends Radio, which premieres new tracks from Friends, supports up-and-coming artists, and is cross-branded across his BBC One radio show. The second one is Little Mix's Friday Fitness Playlist, which has theme and songs rotating every few months, crowdsourced song ideas from fans on Twitter um, and rebrands the same playlists so followers build over time. And then the third and final playlist is played by Jamie XX which features songs he mixes during DJ sets. Um, it allows fans to stay up to date with what he's playing live and is frequently updated with new tracks. So I guess a nice way to do this would be to create three playlists and try and do the same things as the ones recommended by Spotify for Artists. So let's give that a go. Playlist number one, Duplo and Friends. So just as a reminder, this playlist premieres new tracks from Friends, supports up and coming artists and has cross branding across your BBC Radio 1 show. So, point one, um, not that many of my musician friends actually have music on Spotify, which seemed like a bit of a wasted opportunity to me, but those that did have songs on there, I've assembled um, their songs into this playlist, which I'm calling Utililux and Friends. Point two, supports up and coming artists. There's an incredible number of up and coming artists on Spotify. According to Spotify's own figures, 40,000 songs are uploaded to Spotify every day. This is something I find difficult to visualise. 40,000 songs. According to Quartz magazine, the average song length in 2020 is 3 minutes and 30 seconds. So that's 97 days, 5 hours and 20 minutes of music uploaded to Spotify every day. That statistic, on one hand, is encouraging to think that there are many thousands of people out there in the same position as me, creating music and sending it to the marketplace of Spotify. If part of being a Spotify guy is championing new music, then there's an incredible ocean of new music out there waiting to be discovered. If I didn't sleep, and listen to this new music non-stop every day, I would still only be listening to about 10% of the new music being generated on a daily basis. But where is this seemingly impossible amount of new music? How do you find them? Spotify's search engine does not seem to be optimised for searching for things by their upload date. 
instead of giving you a chronological list of the songs uploaded to Spotify, when you search for new music, you're actually directed to playlists of new music, usually of already established artists. Um, there are a lot of New Music Friday playlists, for example, which on average have about 30 songs to them, which is only really scratching the surface of the 280,000 songs which have been released that week. For a service with such an extensive catalogue of songs, Spotify's filing system seems a little careless to me. It would be amazing to be able to have some sort of list of everyone who uploaded a song that day and to try and find artists like me who are outside of the industry looking in. Are you one of these artists? Please get hold of me if so. A friend pointed out to me that there did for a while seem to be a service now not working, called Forgotify, who tried to address this issue, looking for artists who didn't get any plays. But it seems Spotify has withdrawn support for this service, despite it seemingly being quite popular. Why would Spotify want to deny their listeners a chance to discover new artists? There's a website called Spotify Developers, where you can apparently access user-related data So maybe at some point I should see if I can make a search engine which actually lists music uploaded to Spotify by date. Um, There must be whole cities of people like me out there posting to the void and I'd quite like to make contact with them. For now I'm not sure what I can do to support up and coming artists because I can't find them. Um, But that's a point I'll come back to at a later date. Point three cross-branding across your BBC One radio show. Now, I don't currently have a Radio One show, um, so for now that's currently out of the question. I've sent Radio One an email uh, explaining my situation, and hopefully they can help me out there. Um, So that's only one point out of the three um, with emulating the Diplo and Friends uh, playlist. But I think it's a good start, Um, so for now I'll just chuck a link to the Utililux and Friends playlist in the description to this video. Next up, Little Mix's Friday Fitness playlist. This has theme and songs which rotate every few months, crowdsourced song ideas um, from fans on Twitter, and it rebrands the playlist so followers build over time. Themed playlists seem to be a big deal with Spotify. People seem to make playlists of all sorts of activities. Running, job interviews, crying, sleeping, shitting myself, jumping 110 centimeters. So, I wanted to find an activity that people can do whilst listening to my extreme chill out music, um, which sounds like this. It's quite steady, dynamically flat music that doesn't really particularly evoke one feeling or another. So I don't want to be too specific here. I don't want to alienate fans who might not do said activity. I want to pick something universal. So I've made a playlist called Music for Sitting on a Chair. Little Mix has also been crowdsourcing these song ideas from fans on Twitter. Um, So I've made myself a Twitter account and I've asked a question on there and some friends have made some nice suggestions. So I've... um, thrown their suggestions into this playlist and a few things I like and of course some of my own music Um, and there we go I've managed to tick I think all three of the things off that list there so that's very nice Um, and then the final playlist played by Jamie XX this features songs he mixes during his DJ sets Um, he allows fans to stay up to date with what he's playing live Um, and it's frequently updated with new tracks This one is a bit tricky at the moment, as I'm not currently a DJ, um, and we are currently in lockdown, so live DJ sets aren't a thing that's really happening. Some people are live streaming their music, 
um, but most services for doing live performances over the internet do not allow you to play other people's music. You can have your videos taken down or your account suspended for doing that, which doesn't seem to be a particularly sustainable way of touring as a DJ. An exception to this seems to be Mixcloud Live. They have a licensed live streaming platform, which is working with major labels to make live DJ performances on the internet possible. There seems to be a growing community of people sharing the DJ sets here. So maybe it's time to become a DJ? I feel like a bit of practice is in order before making things on Mixcloud. So I've been using YouTube Live to try testing out some live streams and playing some of my own music. So far only one or two people have turned up for these streams, but perhaps with the increase in engagement my Friends of Utilux Tillux and Music for Sitting on Chairs playlist will generate, then more people will show up for these weekly live streams. So, all in all, it's been a pretty successful week for you, Tillylux, um, though I've not had that many listeners, and they're all apparently men over the age of 60 living in the UK. Um, I have laid the first foundations for making connections with new fans, and I've also had a statement from Soundrop, who I use for uploading all of my music, which has told me how much money I have made this month from streaming. Um, so... That number comes in at 0.019897.65 US dollars. Um, so that rounds down to one cent, um, which I think if you run that through a currency converter, um, that would come to 0 0.07 uh, British pounds, so 7, 7p. So that's a, that's a real claimable amount of money. Um, and this is before doing all of the things which I've done this week to uh, engage with fans um, and get more listens. Maybe you're a new fan listening to this right now. And if so, please check out my Utililux and Friends playlist, link in description, um, and drop us a line if you are an unheard of artist who'd like to be championed by this playlist. Please also check out my relaxation playlist, Music for Sitting on Chairs, and if you'd like to recommend some music for that playlist, please contact me on Twitter at Utililux. Um, and finally, keep an eye out for any of my live streamed gigs on YouTube. There's a link in the description to all the past shows. Um, thanks very much for watching this week's episode of Spotify Guy. We'll see you next week. <laughs>